the first game in the 1994 Evening Standard Five-A-Side Championships. Please welcome from North London, Barnett! This is how they line up tonight. Number one, Phillips. Two, Wilson. Newson. Hoddle. Lynch. Cooper. And McDonald. That's the Barnett squad tonight. The boys are back in town. And now, back in their home at the Valley from South London, Charlton Athletic. John Robinson, Peter Garland, Sean Newton, Mark Robson, and Stuart Barmer. Barnett feature, first game, even Santa Fives, 1994. Barnett and Charlton, a chance for some smiles at the end of a grisly season for both. The Barnett lineup, including the player manager, Gary Phillips, Tony Lynch, and Carl Hoddle, the men to look out for then. As for Charlton Athletic, whose season disappeared down the pan late on, they include Peter Garland, whose dad Dave is on the coaching staff, of course, at Crystal Palace. Darren Pitcher is a much sought-after player, and so too Mark Robson as well. Barnett against Charlton, Barnett relegated from Division 3, and uh, two Division 3, I should say, Charlton mid-table in the first division. The referee is Kelvin Morton, and the first game tonight will be Charlton in the red and white against Barnett in the stripes. Barnett, three wins in their last 30 games, only five victories all season. It's the second round here last season. Charlton Athletic, just one win in four, but they were the first ever winners of the London Five-A-Sides back in 1954. Won it also in 1963. And Kelvin Morton the referee just checking there is Peter Garland hefty midfielder from the Croydon area played on Saturday for Charlton Sunday I should say and there for Barnett Tony Lynch Paddington Bourne Barnett's problem really of the whole season has been keeping the goals out late on Lynch against Garland then, and we're off and underway. Five minutes each half, and will we go to one of those sudden death shootouts? The ball goes out of play at all. It's restarted with a kick in. Yes, the goalkeeper has it. And a goal kick, of course, and then it's a rollout by the goalkeeper. Lots of movement required. And it's Robson now. Mark Robson. Wearing eight. Chases up, up, so too Paul Wilson and used the rebound board to great effect. And is Gary Phillips. I said to Gary Phillips beforehand who was going to be in his team. He said the first ones to turn up. Here's Carl Hoddle. Hoddle, a familiar strike. His brother, such an important week for him. Stuart Palmer. And they start again with Garland. Here's Robson dropping deep. 25 year old, spell West Ham, of course. Came off Hoddle, that's the above head height. The stadium beginning to fill very quickly up to a capacity of 8,000. Robson again. Shapes the shoot. Deflected back. Garland again. Garland goes for goal. Gary Phillips, now, if Peter Garland had gone into the D, that would have been a direct free kick to Barnett. Hoddle. And Lynch. Shot was blocked by Paul Wilson. Garland. That's Robson just in front of him. Darren Pitcher. Scored a Blackburn earlier on. That famous cup win. Garland, a gap opens, good save, but it's in by Darren Pitcher, and the first goal of the night in the London Fiversides is scored by Darren Pitcher. The gap suddenly opened, although Gary Phillips blocked, 
it's 1-0 Charlton. So Cooper, another gap for him as well. Cooper levels it up. Again, that gap through the middle. And again, it was exploited. One all. Carl Hoddle. Into pub in his spare time. A red cow at Bishop Stalkley. Cooper. And here's Lynch. That's Hoddle there in front of him. And Paul Wilson. Which had got the block challenge, and again, it was Garland shot. Wilson and Hoddle. Lynch. Good run by him. Garland. Has pitcher there again. And Robson stepped inside. Oh, good effort. And again gets a second chance. And two to Charlton. Two on the two one. Came out to him at the second chance. Robson, the man they signed for £70,000, scored three goals in the regular season. Just in case you're wondering about the rules in the, uh, the normal game so now, Cooper the, uh, with the, the shot over for Barnett. It does not apply, so uh, the goalkeeper will be allowed to pick the ball up for a back pass. Cooper got uh, the Barnett equaliser, 2-1 to Charlton. Charlton. John Vaughan gets things going again. Minute to go in the first half. Darren Pitcher and John Vaughan again. Most of the second half of the season because of an injury to Bob Boulder. Pitcher, a lot of managers watching him tonight. Good break by Robson. Well found. The speed merchants built for this. Cooper. Oh, good effort. It's Lynch's effort. to roll it out, the goalkeeper. Can't kick it out. Here's pitcher. Coming up to half-time then. Charlton lead 2-1. With a guard. Robson away on the far side. And Farmer. That is the half-time whistle. No more than a minute interval at half-time. With Charlton leading them by two goals to one. Darren Pitcher and Mark Robson got the goals red angle that isn't it my roof camera right above the center spot so five minutes then before defeat for barnett charlton leading can barnett come back into it fa amateur cup winners and arthurian league can you remember the old arthurian league and the southern league as well Been in the uh, nz league for a couple of years now Charlton Athletic were doing so well under Steve Grit and Alan Kerbishley, but 12 defeats in their last 16 games robbed them of a promotion place. Robson then to Bar. Good burst by Garland. And that's Pitcher in support. Making a break is Barmer from the back. Good covering challenge on him by Paul Wilson. Robson gets the block challenge, comes back to Rob, uh, Wilson again. An overhead height via the deflection, it's a free kick Come to Barnett. Indirect free kick. Jeff Cooper, is it square, it was Wilson, his partner, and now the breakaway, Pitcher again, can he finish? Off the boards, Robson couldn't get the touch, Garland, that's a lovely touch. Scottish Youth and Schoolboy International. He on, of course, in his Celtic days. And very, very consistent at the back for Charlton all campaign as Barmer. Paul Wilson from Forest Gate in London. And Carl Hoddle. Looks like a heftier version of his brother, doesn't he? Familiar sandy hair. Inside and a good drive as well. Comes back to Hoddle. 
features so similar, aren't they? After they played at Chelsea in the FA Cup this season, and drew 0 in the first game, he uh, went back with his regulars to his pub, and I think had a right old knees up there. John Vaughan again. And a touch by Barmer. Lynch was in there. And Pitcher. Scored the first goal. Charlton leading by two goals to one still. And the seconds trickling away. Robson in acres and acres here. Good block by Hoddle. But again, it ricocheted overhead height, so it's a free kick to Charlton. Pitcher. And Garland. That uh, Dave was in celebratory mood yesterday at Sellers Park. And start with Lynch. Robson tried to hook in with a challenge. Garland. Hoddle back in the way. Pitcher got the foot in there, but Hoddle has it. Jeff Cooper. Barnett gave away so many late goals this season. One of the main reasons why they struggled. And returned to the lowest flight at the first time of asking. Gary Phillips, popular manager, really saved the club last summer. Paul Wilson. Two minutes to go. Hoddle. Got a great strike on him if he can work the angle. Charlton at the moment just sitting back, letting them come. Wilson they actually played a lot better football than their position would uh, suggest at the bottom of the table this season perhaps a lack of a major goal scorer was another reason for their failure here's Hodd Ray Clements though and Gary Phillips working hard in the close season they promised me to bring in new blood it's a good run inside again Garland got the block and the, uh, the weight of the block was such that it fizzed through, what, 20, 30 yards. Hoddle. And Cooper. She was deflected off Stuart Barmer. Into the last minute. 2-1 chart after late lead by. First match of the evening standard fives. Charlton playing keyboard. Has he fouled? Oh, in the penalty area. It looked to me as if Barmer went in his own D. Now, that could be a penalty, but the referee, Calvin Morton, didn't see it. Hoddle. Wilson again. Carl Hoddle. Hoddle onto that right. Oh, nearly went in off the keeper, John Vaughan. Would have been a tremendous start to the week for a Hoddle. Here he is, Carl. Nearly went in off John Vaughan. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Looks as if it's going to be a winning start for South London and Charlton Athletic. John Vaughan. And they go through Charlton Athletic. They go through to play the Millwall or Fulham in the next round, the quarterfinals. Goals for Pitcher and for Robson. Cooper scoring for Barnett, but not enough. Charlton of the First Division go through to the quarter-finals. Jonathan Pace, the commentator, it's just not been Barnett's season, has it? Well, Barnett beaten by Charlton in the opening match. Spurs beat Luton by a goal to nil. Crystal Palace were beaten by Wimbledon. Millwall beat Fulham 2-1. West Ham 1-0 winners over Leighton Orient. Wickham beat Chelsea 1-0. Queen's Park Rangers beat Brentford by a goal to nil. And Arsenal, who I must say are as good as I've seen here tonight, beating Watford, the holders, by two goals to one. Two goals from Ray Parler, who's an early candidate for the player of the night, I would have thought. So the draw for the quarterfinals looks like this. is Charlton against Millwall, Spurs against Wimbledon, West Ham against Arsenal. That's going to be one hell of a match. And Wickham Wanderers against Queen's Park Rangers. It's gonna run, Wembley, and now into the quarterfinals we go. Well, we've had the West London derby. We've had.
had the East London derby. Now time for the lads from South London to do battle for a place in the semi-final. Please welcome the first team on tonight, Charlton Athletic. Stuart Bolmer and the subs Joe Robinson and Sean Newton. And getting ready to do battle with their South London neighbours from the new Den Mill Wall. Tim Carter, Danny Chapman, John Kerr, Paul Holsgrove, Ben Thatcher, and on the subs bench, Mark Kennedy and James Connor. It's the second round. It's getting hotter. It's Charlton against Millwall in the fires. The two sides then, Charlton Athletic as they were for the first game, a victory over Barnet, 2-1. The dangerous players then, Mark Robson and Darren Pitcher, the two goal scorers. And as for Millwall, who disposed of Fulham by the same scoreline of two goals to one, they make a couple of changes. Paul Holsgrove, Ben Thatcher come in. No place there for the second game for Greg Perry, this goal scorer. Millwall kicking from left to right in this first half in the white shorts. Referee out there for this first quarter final. Here's Graham Paul. And we're off and running any second now. Charlton all in red. Played very well in the first game. Here's Peter Garland, straight in, hefty challenge on young Ben Thatcher. P Pitcher, who scored the opening goal in this season's finals. Stuart Barmer, Garland again, good challenge on him by Danny Chapman, who got the winner in the last round for Millwall. Garland, nowhere to go there. Pitcher to Robson again. Robson really, really ran his heart out in that first tie. He's very, very talented, got good feet, neat and nimble, and works very, very, very hard. Both goalkeepers have played for Bristol Rovers during their career, Jonathan. So the ball went down there on loan in uh, 85, I think it was, and Timmy Carter started off his career at, uh, at Eastville, as it was then, in uh, 85, before the move to Twerton Park. Now, here's Robson, good turn, and a lash as well. Great effort, that. Super balance, super feet, and goes through, strikes it a little bit too high, though, and fires it past that far post. So Tim Carter gets the ball going again for Millwall. To Danny Chapman. Chapman again, 19. Kerr. Paul Holsgrove. You may remember his dad used to play, John. Used to be at Wolverhampton Wanderers, which was a centre half. Paul's more of a midfield player. Hasn't really made it into the first team on a regular basis this season. Peter Garland, though, for Charlton. Good stop again by Tim Carter. They're well organised, aren't they, Charlton? They've got a nice balance and blend. And they're very fired up to win it this year. Came so close last season. Half a chance for Millwall. Uh, Robson closing down. And Paul Holsgrove. There's Kerr. Canadian born, actually part of the USA World Cup squad. Robson has Garland to his left hand side, making the scissors run across. Well, could have got a touch, Tim Carter. Robson again, he's down pitcher behind him. And there's Stuart Barmer Square. Starting his career, off the border, there's Stuart Barmer with Celtic. That's 120 grand. About four years ago now it was. His pitcher interests so many top clubs. Charlton, Steve Good and Alan Kerbis, they will do well to hold on to their exciting young crop this summer. Here's Garland, and a good strong challenge. Kicked him out of the D as well. Only Chapman's across there, and Thatcher. Very promising young centre back or full back is Ben Thatcher. No Keith Stevens tonight, he was in the squad, but he's got his big testimonial on Wednesday. Keith Stevens down at the den against uh, a manager's 11. There's John Kerr touching it back. Thatcher came off Stuart Barmer. They're playing some good football both sides here tonight. Actually played with Paul Holsgrove's father, at, uh, John at Wolves. He belonged to the tea set with Derek Dugan. <laughs> it meant they drank tea yeah. all, all afternoon after training, the tea set. Here's a free kick now. Thatcher touches it back. Holsgrove, the younger. Oh, great effort for Holsgrove. Well, that was 
a smashing shot, just wanted the slightest chink and exploited it. Yes, yeah, talking about his dad and the cup of tea there, he's really struck that one well to the right of John Vaughan, super technical strike there, there it goes. John Vaughan hidden behind the defender and Paul Holsgrove very proud of that one, especially on telly. Millwall Lee Charlton, 1-0 in the first of the quarterfinals in the evening standard, fives. Been around since 1954. East Park Rangers with five successes, uh, the, the most successful team in this particular tournament. You weren't commentating then, Jonathan, were you? I was, I was uh, in my prime then, Bob. Now, it's played through, Holmesburg again made a good burst. Out of his box comes John Vaughan, the biggest of goalkeepers, but for this sort of football is ideal, only five foot ten into the last minute. They all lead one nil. Holmesburg cross rifle. Tim Carter rolls it out, gets things going again for Millwall. No movement off the ball there, as Peter Osgood was saying earlier in commentary. You look for movement off the ball in this competition. And once people make good runs, you've got to give them the ball. The temperature, though, in here tonight must be in the 80s at the moment. It's very, very hot. Here's Garland. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Stuart Palmer. Bang. Weaving pretty patterns. Here's Robson again. Intricate trickery. Got su effort. Super balancing he has. Robson spent his earlier career at Exeter City. Now here's Halsberg, the goal scorer, John Kerr, and in Toronto. In fact, good effort, good stop. John Vaughan got down well. Pitcher. Half time whistle blows. 1 0 Millwall in the Battle of the South East London clubs. Keepers have been on show tonight and made some great saves. They're able to see the ball come very, very quickly at them, but they're able to get down, get legs there, and get arms there. Many of the keepers this evening have had super, super games. Charlton Athletic uh, have made two substitutions. John Robinson has come on. Sean Newton has come on as well. Robinson and Newton have come on. John Robinson and Sean Newton. John Robinson born in Bulawayo. Sean Newton uh, slightly closer to home in Camberwell. Here's Kerr. Tim Carter. It was in that Sunderland uh, squad that reached the FA Cup final a couple of years ago. Thatcher, Ben Thatcher. First touch then for John Robinson. Holsgrove. And Carter again. Made uh, over 50 appearances for Bristol Rovers and the Newton goalkeeper in those days. Kerr comes in with Newton. The ball still in the D. Not now, though. Half a chance. And he's made the most of it again. Paul Holsgrove. Millwall lead 2 0. Great thinking there by the young man. Didn't want to go in that circle, didn't want to go in the circle. Moved it away from his right foot to his left and stuck it home. Neat. The keeper's gone down, committed himself, but young Paul keeps his head well and slots it home into the far corner. And Steve Green and Alan Kirby wish they could bring themselves on now. Yes. Newton, young Sean Newton. A couple of goals this season in Charlton's campaign that promised so much. Steve Green is in action in, on Friday night, by the way. He plays for uh, an ex-Chelsea against an ex-Chelsea side. A uh, game uh, for the Brain and Spine Foundation. It's down at Welling United Friday night. One of the Chelsea stars of the 70s playing in that game. Now here's Newton again. Strong challenge on him and a good right ball there, but low again by Ben Thatcher. Darren Pitcher. Oh, my, oh, he tripped his way through neatly there. Can he pull them back into it? And Holsgrove's covering so much ground. I guess he's got a bit of a point to prove. He's uh, not been a regular this season. No, Parler in the game before when um, Arsenal played Watford had a great game in midfield. You see these midfield players of today, Jonathan, have to get up and down, up and down. They've got great engines, as we say, within the professional game. Here's Holsgrove to Kurt. And they will get a third. All the way through to Danny Chapman. And he encroached. The boy Kerr's impressed me on field. The front, Jonathan, he's, he played well, move well, run well, hold the ball up for them. Nick McCarthy there encourages inside on. He wants to be a winner again tonight. Ian Evans was uh, behind the goal earlier on, away to the left hand side as you look at your picture now. And Nick McCarthy, of course, in supreme control of the team as Ben Thatcher gets the drive well saved again. Now, a half a chance for pitcher. Carter got down neatly, quickly. Tim Carter. 
worked hard to get back to the top of the game. Dropped uh, down a couple of divisions to Hartlepool. Now back with Millwall. Perhaps in the top flight next season if they can win the playoffs. Kerr allowed to turn. The block was by Farmer. And it's a free kick for overhead height. Millwall lead 2-0. Holes go, got them both. He was alert there, Holsgrove, trying to get a ricochet, played it off the top board, but nobody was alive to the rebound. Pitch up. Blocked. Kerr got in there very quickly. Again, it's picked up by Holsgrove. Kerr to his right-hand side if he wants him. He does a hat-trick! Paul Holsgrove! Hat-trick hero! Millwall three! Charlton nil! He's got the lot. He's enjoying this. Just he takes the defender on one way or the other way. Knows he's got power. Knows he's got good technique and drives it hard at John Thorne's feet and goes straight underneath him. Wonderful, wonderful hat-trick on the night. Best performance of the evening so far as an individual. Here he is again. Certainly man of the match in this tie as the seconds tick away. Millwall look as if they're cruising towards a semi-final place. Highest goal scoring feat of the night so far for an individual and for a team. They get three grand guaranteed for reaching the semi-finals. But it's the silverware that matters. Great, some great teams have won this actually in the past over the years. Now, here's Chapman again. Blocked by Newton. Chapman need to come back very, very quickly. They need a miracle. Robinson. Finds pitch up. I like I like him catcher, Jonathan. He's a good technical player. Been to the school of excellence. Understands the goal game and he's a good technician as well. He's in the middle of your picture now, but this is Holsgrove. Sure not a fourth tonight. 30 seconds to go. Made back again to Danny Chapman. To get to Millwall against Arsenal in the second leg of the FA Youth Cup final. On Thursday, on Sky. And here's Holsgrove. To Kerr. Holsgrove making the run off him. Pitcher. Newton's square now if Farmer wants him. 3-0 to Millwall. Sean Newton going into a maze, into a blind alley in the end. Uh, and Millwall going into the semi-finals. And Charlton going out 3-0. Super performance there by that man on the screen, Paul Holsgrove. Not many chances in the first team this season, but his dad, John Holsgrove, who used to play with me at Wolves. Well.